Monsieur, did you know that crabs communicate by waving their pincers around or drumming them on their shells? Yes, these fascinating creatures have their own unique language. They're like the skilled conductors of the marine world, orchestrating a symphony all of their own. But that's not all. Crabs are also masters of regeneration. A lost limb? No problem. Given some time, they can grow it right back. Talk about resilience. Now, imagine having that superpower. And speaking of superpowers, crabs are exceptional survivalists. They have the ability to live both in the sea and on land. They're the true amphibians of the crustacean world. They can breathe through their gills, but when on land, the gills can also absorb oxygen from the air. Remarkable creatures, aren't they? But what's more astounding is their life cycle. Let's dive in. Crabs have an extraordinary life cycle that starts in the sea, just like us humans. Their journey from a tiny egg to a full-grown adult is a captivating story of transformation and adaptation. Let's begin with the first stage, the egg. A female crab can lay thousands, even millions of eggs at once. These eggs are carried under her body until they hatch into microscopic larvae called zoea. The zoea stage is a time of constant change and growth. During this phase, the zoea molts multiple times, shedding its exoskeleton to allow for growth, a process known as ecdysis. But what exactly is a zoea? Picture a creature with a small body, long spines and a large head. Quite unlike the crabs we are familiar with, these little critters drift in the open ocean, feeding on plankton and other small organisms. Their long spines provide defense against predators, proving that even in the early stages, crabs are equipped with survival strategies. As the zoya continues to grow and molt, it eventually transitions into the megalopa stage. This is the point where our tiny creature starts to resemble the crabs we know and love. The megalopa has a more rounded body, and it begins to develop the characteristic claws or pincers. It's during this stage that the megalopa starts to venture towards the bottom of the ocean, ready for its next transformation. The final stage is the adult crab. After several more molds, the megalopa finally becomes a juvenile crab, looking much like a small adult. From this point, it continues to grow and mold until it reaches its full size. Adult crabs have a hard exoskeleton that provides protection and strong pincers used for feeding and defense. And there you have it, the life cycle of a crab. From a tiny egg drifting in the ocean, through stages of transformation and growth, to an armored creature navigating the seafloor. It's a journey of survival, adaptation and resilience. And that's how a tiny egg transforms into a fascinating creature with armored shells and strong pincers. Speaking of crabs, did you know there are over 4,500 species of crabs worldwide? This vast array of species means crabs inhabit an array of environments from the deepest ocean depths to tropical rainforests. They also come in a multitude of sizes and colors, showcasing nature's palette in the most spectacular ways. Imagine a world where crabs range from the minuscule size of a pea to the imposing stature of a Japanese spider crab. From the tiny pea crab to the giant Japanese spider crab, the world of crabs is as diverse as it is fascinating. Incredible, isn't it? How these small creatures lead such intricate lives. From their fascinating life cycle, to the myriad species that populate our Earth, crabs truly are a testament to nature's diversity. Their unique skills and abilities remind us of the importance of understanding and appreciating all life forms. We've only just skimmed the surface of their captivating world. If you enjoyed learning about crabs today and wish to explore more wonders of nature, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Until next time, keep exploring.